Hilda, are you decent? Me? Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a review of the film Gilda. Uh, I got this one quite a while ago. This is until uh, Criterion Collection did their release. This Italian uh, Blu-ray was the, I believe in the world, was the only way of getting this on Blu-ray. Which is uh, pretty strange, especially uh, not being able to get this any other way in America. And it was a, it's a really good copy. I love the front image. I think that is absolutely beautiful. So this is a uh, black and white film. Uh, it's got um, probably most known to uh, modern people for appearing in the Shawshank Redep Redemption when all the uh, people in the jail are, or the prison are watching the film and uh, Rita Hayworth pops up with a hair flying yeah, who me uh, so all the back of course is in Spanish there is only one um, extra on this and that's a little featurette um, with Martin Scorsese and Baz Luhrmann are absolutely tons of audio um, and subtitles on this it's a, Audio, there's Italian, English, French, uh, Greek, I think that is, Portuguese, Spanish, and uh, I think the last one might be English, uh, all in mono, and the subtitles just go on for absolutely ever. It's like they've got nearly every um, language in the world on here, so it's got um, Reed Hayworth in it as Gilda and Glenn Ford I think it's 90 minutes and this is all regions which is great for uh, people in the US who can't get it anyway and uh, I mean the camera absolutely adores Rita Hayworth in this film well in any film so same mini image on the disc, nothing inside. It's only about seven pounds, seven dollars. So if you can't um, afford a Criterion version, definitely get this one. As for the Criterion, this is my first um, English Criterion, because of course they are region locked and also my first Region A or Region B uh, Criterion Blu-ray well it's my first Blu-ray it's my first um, Region 1 or Region B sorry Region 2 or Region B so I'm really excited now that uh, Criterion are allowing UK viewers who don't have multi-region players to have access to these because they are the creme de la creme in my opinion. I've got I think about 10 I think Signs of the Lambs was my first Criterion DVD and uh, I wasn't aware of how good they were at the time I just bought it because uh, it seemed to be the best edition at the time so having a look at the back let's just zoom out a bit tons of features as you can see there's a camera in the back a new high definition digital restoration with uncompressed monorail Monorail, not monorail. Soundtrack, audio commentary from 2010 by film critic Richard Sheikle, I think it is. 
New interview with film noir historian Eddie Muller, piece from 2010 featuring filmmakers Martin Scorsese and Baz Luhrmann discussing their appreciation uh, for Gilda, that's um, what's on the Italian version. The Odyssey of Rita Hayworth, a 1964 episode of the television show Hollywood and the Stars. Trailer plus an essay by critic Sheila O'Malley. And I think all of the um, extras are, excuse me, um, in a higher definition. Uh, it is Region B. This has been out for a while on Region 1 uh, at the top. Uh, 1946 It's supposed to be one of the best um, just post-war films. Uh, 110 minutes, uh, black and white, mono oil, 133. Uh, Gilda, are you decent? Uh, Rita Hayworth tosses her hair back and slyly responds, me, in one of the great star entrances in movie history. Gilda, directed by Charles Vidor, Features a sultry Hayworth in a most iconic role as the much lusted after wife of criminal Kimpin, played by George McCready, as Ford, as well as the former flame of his bitter henchman, played by Glenn Ford, and she drives them both mad with desire and jealousy. An ever-shifting battle of the sexes uh, set on the Buenos Aires casino's glittering floor and in its shadowy uh, back rooms. Uh, Gilda is among the most sensual of uh, all Hollywood noirs. Rated 12. Let's uh, get this open. Uh, nothing Special with the disc, no printed artwork except for the Criterion logo. And uh, I think there's probably the casino there. Try not to get my reflection. You don't want to see that. I wish they did the booklets instead of these fold-out leaflets. And there you have the um, poster. That the uh, Blu-ray, Italian Blu-ray comes with. I never like these fold posters because the creases, they're just so big and uh, on the back uh, the long shadow of Gilda you have credits at the top and the cast it's not many it's what five people it says really in the film um, about the transfer and uh, Special thanks, that's about it. I'm not going to go through all of that or video it, it's uh, too much. So I hope you enjoyed that look at the, my first Criterion Blu-ray and my previous Gilda. I definitely think it was worth the um, upgrade. Uh, it's a great film and uh, I can now just uh, give this to her. I think I'm going to pass it on to Razor Y Reviews. He needs it for his um, epic film challenge so it'll save him buying it and it didn't cost me much so I hope you enjoyed that. Please take care, share this video, like, subscribe etc etc Take care, have a nice day, bye for now.